What's up everybody? My name is Eric. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about biochemistry from UC Davis. So Biz 102, we are going to focus on lipid nomenclature. So a lot of times we're going to be given a long carbon chain and we're going to have to name our lipid. So the way we do that is we start at the carboxylic acid carbon. This is going to be our number one. And then from there we count the total number of carbons. So this will be 15. It's convention to use a colon. And at all the locations we see a double bond, we're going to go ahead and include. We see three double bonds here. We put in parentheses at delta, and then we describe the locations of where those double bonds are located. So this is 6, 10, and 14. Another naming convention that we like to use, I'll go ahead and do a, another example here, is called omegas. So let me go ahead and use a different color, omega. And omega just refers to the final carbon. So this will be our omega. This is our number one. And then we just number all the way down. So let's say we had a double bond right here. This would be an omega-3. Now, it's important to note that it wouldn't matter if we had double bonds here and all throughout. When using the omega naming convention, we only care about the first double bond that we hit. So this would be omega-3. The double bond here at 5, 7, and 9 will not affect our naming convention for omega. And just to be thorough, let's go ahead and use our conventional lipid nomenclature. So the carboxylic acid will be number 1, 2, 3, 4. Go ahead and pause the video and let me know what your answer will be. The answer is 13, 4, delta, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Thanks for tuning in, guys.